Let's talk SD cards. There's a lot of them out there. You've got Extreme, Pro, Elite, and then you've got the different makes. You've got, oh, 80, 100, but are the, some of these are just the read speeds. You've got Class 1, the UHS, UHS 1, UHS 3, Class 10. You've got the V30, uh, SDHC, SDXE. So what are they all? Well, if you look at my description below, there should be a link and you've got the full, everything written out for you to have a look at. But the reason I've got to get into this is because we're, we're looking at um, the right speed generally for people doing 4K is, you know, really important to avoid the jaggedness of videos and bits not being recorded. You want to record every single bit. So let's have a look at what I've got with my uh, Mavic drone and the other cards I've got. Okay, let's start with the one I think might be the slowest. This came with the DJI Mavic and it's got U1, HC1 and it's got this 633 times meaning it's you know that's kind of how fast it is to like say the really basics. So this came with a Mavic which is a 4K uh, drone and um, it's also got a class 10 here which is kind of related to the HC1. And then we got the U1. And what I did, because I wanted to get, uh, I found the video a bit jerky, uh, maybe going sideways, even going forward a little bit. I thought, well, I'm going to get a faster card. Now, I already had a faster card, or a card, in my 4K camera. And this one. Okay, Sandisk Extreme. Now this is also a HC1, but it's got an it's got a U3. So I'm thinking that could go well in the in the Mavic. Now the, the right speed on here is about I think 40. Well, the 4K video wants to write at 100 megabits per second. So I'm like, even this isn't up to scratch for my 4K camera. So I thought, well, I'll swap those. But for my 4K camera, I thought I'll buy a really good card. Because I do a lot of video on that. I mean, I might even put this in the Mavic. But I'll show you what it is. So this is the same, really. It's a HC1, an underscore 3. Okay, but it's called a plus as compared to just an extreme. But this has also got a V V three V thirty. And thank it, thank it. The V thirty basically is just saying it's it's video thirty for if people are searching for it for a video card. But it's really the same as the U three. Just means it's a 30 megabyte um, minimum transfer speed. The specifications on the packaging did say this will write up to 90 megabytes per second um, to write for my 4K camera. That, that might end up in the Mavic. It depends how the other one with the U3 manages because the U3 here really is the same. Although the specs on the box for this do say less than the uh, 90. So in order, but then the Lexa, right? Is it HC1 a U1? But their but their website is saying it's the same sort of speed as this. Yet it's only got a U1. I cannot understand that, and I don't necessarily trust it. So I'm going to have to test them out with uh, speed testing software until I confirm how fast this really is. I'll be using that in my HD camera, photographic camera. This one I will use in the Mavic because it's faster potentially than this one. And then this really fast one I will use in my 4K camera. But I did notice that my 4K camera 
did jutter a little bit with this one so that's why I got a faster one you know I'm probably better off with uh, having two of these for the Mavic and the 4k camera 4k drone 4k camera so anyway if anyone's got any ideas about how how Alexa HC1 uh, and U1 can say it's a 95 meg you know or well, it's that you know 95 meg is saying it's faster than that I haven't seen the actual packaging for the Lexar but I have been on their website and as you check my page out with the link below uh, I have got all the details exactly about the the, the specifications of what U, U, UHS is what the, uh, the class 1 HC1 means and the HC2 etc so please check that out